I've always been a watcher, especially on YouTube. I literally grew up on here. I've been watching YouTube videos since 2011, probably even before that. Seeing people go to college, start careers, raise children, watching all of that through the screen. Sometimes I would take inspiration and sometimes I would even post videos, but mostly that time is spent just being scared. I remember when I found out about stretching your relaxers, I definitely tried that a few times and I think I showed enough pictures of that. But I got obsessed with big chop videos shortly after. It just looked so freeing being able to cut off all of your relaxed hair. Looking at my hair before now, I always say I was just running. It was as if it was instilled in me to hate my hair texture and how my hair naturally looked. I got a perm at age eight or nine, and I remember clearly the first time I got my hair straightened and how beautiful I felt. But I also remember being hit with that flat iron and crying, and I feel like that's when I learned that beauty equals pain. Hours and days spent in hair salons experiencing some form of pain, so many tears shed as a child. Maybe I'm just a crybaby, but it was traumatic looking back. As a teenager, I was obsessed with wearing long hair extensions. I remember being younger, always wanting to have longer hair, and when I finally got it, you couldn't pry those extensions out of my cold hands. Anyways, it took until I was in college for me to actually go natural. And I remember being just so excited to cut off my bandaged hair. I was clinging to weaves at the time, literally like itching for my next install, not taking any breaks in between. Then I switched to other protective styles like braids once I had um, cut my hair off. It was just to feel more comfortable, but it was also me switching from one security blanket to a new security blanket. It was like I couldn't be alone with my natural hair ever. I was getting braids back to back pretty much. I would have my natural hair out, for short periods of times, but just feel puzzled. Like I didn't know what to do with my hair or how to take care of it. I was stumped. And I was just like at a roadblock where I was like, I want to feel free in terms of my hair. I remember in 2021, my friend Halcyon, I just wanna thank her. <laughs> she had told me about a natural hair challenge that she did for that summer where she wore her hair out for 90 days straight. I thought about it and I was like, I hadn't done that in years. I have never felt comfortable enough with my natural hair to have it out like that since I've gone natural. But I did it. And I'm so happy that I did. It allowed me to embrace my hair. I didn't always feel pretty or secure, but it was necessary for me to learn more about my hair and to try it. And again, I'm so happy that I did it. And I thank her so much for that. But I did it in preparation to go after my next obsession, locks. I have loved locks for so, so long, and I've canceled probably 10 appointments to get starter locks in the two years prior to me starting. I was watching people embark on their lock journeys, but never doing so. Until now, I made that jump. I stopped waiting and watching and decided to do it. I started my locks on November 5th, 2022, and this is my journey.